The time is 6 o'clock. American Family News, almost a week. The Georgia mom reported back in October that her 20-month-old son wasn't home when she woke up one morning, was arrested Monday and charged with the boy's murder after bones were found in a landfill. The FBI lab in Quantico, Virginia, confirmed that they are, in fact, human remains. Additional testing, including a DNA analysis, is being conducted, and we have every reason to believe that this will confirm the remains are Quinton's. Chatham County, Georgia, Police Chief Jeff Hadley says 22-year-old Leilani Simon is their only suspect. A car crashed into an Apple store in the Boston suburb of Hingham, Massachusetts, Monday. Plymouth County District Attorney Timothy J. Cruz is updating the number of victims. 16 people have been transported to hospitals, 14 to South Shore hospitals, two to Boston hospitals. There's been one fatality. When the new session of Congress begins in January, it will have a House controlled by Republicans and a Senate with Democratic majority. Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy is doubtful of President Biden's ability to work with congressional Republicans. I hope that President Biden will work with us but I've seen no indication that he will. And, and I can't think of one problem in America today that the Biden administration is an answer to. Speaker in waiting, Kevin McCarthy, is taking a cue from the Democratic playbook and throwing controversial Democrats off of committee assignments. Steve Jordahl reports. Kevin McCarthy wanted to put Republicans Jim Jordan and Jim Banks on the J6 committee, but being afraid the committee would be forced to reckon with some uncomfortable questions, Speaker Nancy Pelosi broke with tradition and herself appointed two rhinos guaranteed to toe the Democrat Party line when it comes to the Capitol riots. Now the incoming speaker, McCarthy told Fox News, if that's the way you want to play the game, fine. Eric Swalwell cannot get a security clearance in the public sector. Why would we ever give him a security clearance in the secrets to America? You have Adam Schiff who had lied to the American public time and again. We will not allow him to be on the Intel Committee either. And you look at Congresswoman Omar, her anti-Semitic comments that have gone forward. We're not going to allow her to be on foreign affairs. Gary Bauer of American Values says it's about time Republicans in Congress started giving as good as they're getting. I'm very happy to see that um, uh, Speaker McCarthy is going to uh, kick three radical Democrat House members off very sensitive committees. He says for decades the Democrat Party has brought a bazooka to the fight while the GOP hangs in with a pen knife. If only one side follows a, a set of rules about niceties while the other side is bashing them over the head with a baseball bat, after a while that just becomes foolish. I'm Steve Jordahl. A sign that things may be returning to a level of pre-pandemic normalcy for the shipping industry. With the holidays right around the corner, carriers like the U.S. Postal Service, FedEx, and UPS are projecting to have enough capacity to have most to all packages delivered on time. Industry experts say several factors have played a role in the change, including an increase in brick-and-mortar shoppers and more consumers getting a head start of those shopping lists. The optimism represents a sharp contrast to holiday seasons in 2020 and 2021, which saw all sorts of supply chain problems. John Saucier, Fox News. Lots of folks are taking to the skies as Thanksgiving travel week kicks off. Max Gordon joins us now at Los Angeles International Airport with a look at how things are going there. There have been some flight delays here at Los Angeles International Airport, but so far it's been a relatively smooth start to the busy travel week. Los Angeles usually has pretty calm weather, so when it comes to weather impacts on flights here at LAX, it's usually because of weather at other airports impacting inbound or outbound flights. LAX is predicting that this year will be busier than the last two, but airport officials aren't expecting a full return to 2019 numbers. Sunday will likely be the busiest day at LAX, with folks returning from their Thanksgiving celebrations. LAX projects around 215,000 passengers and 95,000 vehicles will pass through the airport on Sunday. The airport is advising that folks arrive two hours before a domestic flight and three hours before an international flight. For American Family News, I'm Mr. Key. Here at KNVBC, we're very grateful to the American Family Radio for allowing us to broadcast their Christian news free of charge. And we encourage you to listen to this brief word from AFA. Dr. Jerry Newcomb of D. James Kennedy Ministries calls socialism one of history's worst ideas. Find out why in Dr. Newcomb's blog, The Pilgrims Learned of Socialism's Worthlessness, Why Can't We?, 
Discover a wide variety of culture transforming blogs today at afa.net slash the stand. The Stand from American Family Association. Addressing culture, promoting faith, and defending the family. Visit afa.net slash the stand. Good morning. This is November the 22nd. Morning, my morning, Israel served for a wife, and for a wife he kept sheep. Hosea 12, verse 12. Jacob, while reasoning with Laban, describes his own toil. These twenty years have I been with you. That which was torn of beast I brought not unto you. I bear the loss of it. Of my hand you did require it, whether stolen by day or stolen by night. Thus I was, in the day the drought consumed me, and the frost by night, and my sleep departed from mine eyes. Even more toilsome than this was the life of our Savior here below. He watched over all his sheep until he gave us his last account. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost. His hair was wet with dew, and his sleep departed from his eyes. He was in prayer all night, wrestling for his people. No shepherd sitting beneath the cold skies could ever utter such complaints as Jesus Christ might have if he had chosen to do so because of the sternness of his service in order to procure his spouse. It's sweet to dwell in the spiritual parallel of Laban, having required all the sheep at Jacob's hand. If they were torn of beast, Jacob must make it good. If any of them died, he must stand as surety for the whole. Was not the toil of Jesus for his church the toil of one who was under suretyship obligation to bring every believing one safe to the hand of him who had committed them to his charge? Look on toiling Jacob, and you see a representation of him of whom we read, He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. Morning, my morning, I see. Join us each day at this time for Morning by Morning, daily devotionals by Charles Spurgeon, read by Brother Ed Russ. This is Tony Ruckel from Stockton, Missouri, Faith Baptist Church. Thank you for listening to KNBBC Radio. Preaching, singing, and encouraging programming. Brought to you by KNVBC, your home for revival radio. Though the angry surges roll on my tempest-driven soul, I am peaceful for I know, wildly though the winds may blow, I've been 
safe and sure, that can evermore endure, and it holds my small and frail by his grace I shall not fail for my angels it holds my anger holds mighty tides about me sweep perils lurk within clouds or shade the sky and the tempest rises high still I stand the tempest shock for my anger grips the rock troubles almost well the soil Tempter seek to lure us stray. Storms obscure the light of day. But in Christ I can be bold. I've an anchor that shall hold, and it holds my anchor. Holds. So your watch. so small and frail by his grace I shall not fail for my anger holds my anger holds
of sin set free. I've got that old time religion in my heart. It is always inside. I've got a new kind of feeling in my heart. Got that I've old got that time religion in my, in my heart. It is now inside. What a joy to know one who loves us so. He is so kind and true. He has changed my life from all sin and strife. He'll do the same for you. I've got that. Great. 